Hi, everyone, and welcome to the virtual open house for the Civil Engineering Technology and Environmental Civil Engineering Technology programs. Let's take a look at the material that will hopefully help you make a decision whether or not this program is for you. So you're in the right place if you're looking for information on the Civil Engineering Technology Program or the Environmental Civil Engineering Technology Program. It's a three-year diploma program at Conestoga College in which you will have the opportunity to decide whether you want to do the civil route or the environmental route. We are located at the Cambridge campus and that's where all of your classes will subside unless you choose to take an elective at a different college. I'm Professor Janine Vanry. Um, I've been teaching at Conestoga for quite a few years now, and I am the coordinator of both the civil and the environmental programs here at Conestoga College. So if you have any questions, I'm the one that you should be contacting. So a little bit about me. My education is a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, and then I went on and did a Master's as well. I absolutely love teaching here, um, and I have dabbled in a ton of different courses here. I am also a practicing professional engineer. So on top of teaching, I also do consulting work um, through the summers and on my time off to make sure that I am relevant in industry. I've taught a lot of different classes in this program, statics, math one, water supply, storm water management, construction materials, the mechanics of material lab, as well as law and ethics, and the list kind of goes on. Um, so if you do have questions about different courses and you want to know more about this program, I'm a good person to talk to. And my email is shown on this slide. It's jvanry at conestogac.on.ca. So some kind of highlights about our program. A lot of people kind of question what civil engineering is and don't really have a good idea or grasp of what it is exactly. Well, when I'm talking about civil, I like you to think about what civilization is. Civil is basically short for that. So where you do the design, construction, and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment, including public works, such as roads, bridge, canals, dams, airports, sewage systems, pipelines, structural components of buildings and railways. So we do anything that basically it takes to run a city, everything from the transportation sector to working with the ground to get it ready for buildings to making sure buildings stand up, making sure people have clean drinking water and then treating the stuff um, after people have used it. That's what our job is. So there are tons of different things that fall under civil engineering. I like to tell people that we're responsible for making sure that the water that you're drinking is safe. So turning the pipe on, we're also the people that make sure that, that when you flush a toilet, that that's getting treated appropriately so that again, you are safe. We make sure that your buildings stand up and don't collapse and your structures that the roads are safe for you to actually drive on. So civil engineers and civil engineering technologists have a ton of responsibility to ensure that the public is safe on a regular basis. So I say that it's a very diverse job and it's interesting because you're constantly learning. The other thing I like to mention is jobs, jobs, jobs. There are tons of different types of jobs that fall under this program. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in this presentation, but our students uh, get hired very easily in this program. They are sought after. Our program is now a bring your own device program. So all students entering the program must have a laptop computer that meets the minimum specified requirements. And those are outlined on Conestoga's website for every different program that you're entering in. They'll have different computers that they're recommending with different requirements. You have to own and maintain your own laptop. So make sure that it's in working condition and you need to bring your laptops the first week of classes. So as soon as you're starting school, you need to have one up and running and ready to go. During the first week, students will be instructed on how to download certain software products and how to access other products through the college server. One of the wonderful things about being a student here is that you get free software or software at a much lower rate than you would pay um, if you were just someone walking off the street. So we have two different uh, requirements for laptops in the program. We have the best as well as the ultimate, and this is current as of fall 2020. Make sure that you're checking the website frequently for the BYOD requirements for the program um, in the future. But currently, you have to have Microsoft Windows 10 or Apple OS X 10.5 or higher with parallel software. What I'm going to mention to you right off the get-go is that I'm happy if you're a Mac user, but many engineering programs will only run on a Windows system. So you need to make sure that you're running parallel so that you can actually run Windows on your computer as well. So that's just one of the things that you need to watch out for when you're buying a computer here. 
The other thing that I like to mention is that we use AutoCAD software. So your computer has to have the requirements in order to run AutoCAD, which both of these will. So make sure that you take a look at what the requirements are before you're making an investment and buying um, a large computer. Okay, so take a look here at the best requirements. And then on the next slide, we have the ultimate requirements as well. They're a little bit different. Either model will be fine for the program. Uh, but make sure you take the time to go through these before you are buying a computer. Our campus is located at 850 Fountain Street South, Cambridge, Ontario, so just next to the Highway 401. Um, there is a virtual tour link here that is available that will take you through how to actually take a look at some of the things that we have at our campus. So here is an example of a typical classroom that you can see at the Conestoga Cambridge campus. This is one of our larger lecture halls that we have available to us with our program or class usually having about 30 to 35 students in each section. We tend to use some of the smaller classrooms. Another room I like students to have a look at is the civil and environmental engineering lab. So this is where you're going to do a lot of your labs in our program. Um, from year one, you'll be doing construction materials all the way through to things like soil testing or concrete in here. So we have a lab space that's kind of designated for us to understand how concrete works, to understand asphalt, to understand different soils, wood, uh, steel, all of the things that we teach about in the program. So I do welcome you to take a look and scroll through kind of the campus virtual tour that gives you an idea of these spaces. And you can also kind of scroll around these classrooms so you can see what a classroom in a lab really looks like uh, without actually having to set foot on campus. So that brings us to career opportunities. So graduating students will be prepared for a number of employment opportunities, which include some of the following. And I like to say some because these do not list all of the careers that you could potentially have after completing our program here at Conestoga College. So there's design and detailing, estimating construction costs, coordinating construction schedules and specifications. Graduates can also become advanced in fields of surveying, soil exploration, construction supervision, and laboratory testing of soils, materials, and structures. Another big one that's not listed here would be becoming a CAD technician or someone that basically comes up with the drawings for different construction projects. That's huge. You will have a ton of knowledge and be ready to kind of hit the ground running once you've graduated from this program in order to do drawings. On average, 100% of our co-op students find employment um, within six months of graduation in this program. 89% of non-co-op graduates will find jobs within the same amount of time. Um, I like to say that many of our students are highly sought after and a lot of students that are graduating in their third year will actually have employment before they graduate. We have different companies that come in and want to do presentations and meet our students even in the summer before graduation. So if you are looking for a secure job, if you want to know that you are definitely um, marketable in industry, our program is definitely a way to go. Some frequently asked questions that I get from students is, one, is there a co-op option? Yes, there is a co-op in our program and I highly recommend people apply to it, get job experience. Usually if you have a co-op position, one of your two co-ops will offer you full-time employment at the end of the day. Uh, so it's a great way to get, um, get experience in industry and also set yourself up for success in getting a job after you've graduated. So you can apply for co-op in the fall of your first semester. There are specific requirements for that. So you do have to maintain a 70% average, not have failed any courses or have withdrawn from any courses. We usually take around 20 out of the 60 students that we have in first year. So you have a really good chance of getting a co-op position. Another question that I get quite often is, is the program hard? Um, the program is quite challenging and it does require a lot of work, but it is not impossible for someone to graduate. We graduate our students every single year. You need to put the time into it to truly understand what you're doing. So it is not the easiest of programs by any means, but it is not impossible for you to complete. Many people do, and it is a very rewarding uh, job for you to get at the end of the day. 
do civil engineering technologists design buildings? So this is another very common question that I get where I think students confuse maybe architecture, construction, engineering, and civil engineering. Uh, so we don't do the building design. We don't have anything to do usually with what it looks like. We do make sure that it actually stands up. So if you're interested in more of what a building looks like, what are the different components that go into it? That is the architecture construction engineering program. Um, and check that one out. We're usually the ones that do all of the grading plans. So deal with the ground, um, deal with the land around it, deal with all the servicing of the building. So making sure that we have things like a parking lot available, that we have sanitary, that we have a water supply going there, uh, that we have roadways going there. So we do kind of all the things in the ground for the most part but not the actual building itself. What we do get involved with in the building is the structural calculation. So is that building actually going to stand up? Is it sufficient? So if you would like more information on our program, I highly recommend taking a look at the links um, and taking a look at our actual program pages on the Conestoga College website. See if you're interested, take a look at the courses that are there, uh, make sure that you're interested in the material, make sure that you're interested in this as a profession. So we really hope that you apply to our program and that you're highly interested in it. It is a great career for people to choose and go into um, as a civil engineering technologist or an environmental civil engineering technologist.